Google's networking stack has been built essentially to have software definition of the network that Google services run on, right? And this has been built over many years, even before SDN was, was a buzzword. Um, and the reason that we build this is by separating the control plane from the data plane, it actually allows you to have very rapid innovation, right? You can make changes, you can add features, you can roll out features on a nightly basis, which you can do in traditional networks. This is essentially what allowed Google to scale our services and our infrastructure at an immense scale over the last decade, right? And we simply would not have the ability to, to do that if we did not start with SDN. And we did this you know, when SDN was not even a buzzword in the industry. People didn't really talk about networking as software defined, right? And we've been doing it since then. Now, the interesting part is once you've built this infrastructure, you realize that there is a different set of customers who may use Google service, but they also may want to do their own compute. And what they're used to doing is building their own IT infrastructure where you have your storage, where you have your networking, and you build them in the traditional way. Now, if you start thinking of how Google has done this, right? Networking is another function that runs on the same infrastructure. So the whole idea of Andromeda is take network function, virtualize them, and what I mean by them are things that you do on a network. You route packets, you do load balancing, you have filters and ACLs, uh, you do DDoS mitigation, uh, you potentially could do packet inspections, right? Things that you typically would do on a network for which in a traditional infrastructure, you'd have very special purpose networking equipment that you keep on adding to the infrastructure as you need. Take all of that, make it all virtualized, and let it available as simple APIs. So if, uh, say, I'm an IT infrastructure, but I need to build my storage stack, or I need to have an Oracle instance that runs on, say, Solaris machines today, right? To me, I can essentially do that by taking a collection of virtual uh, images that runs on VMs, virtual machines, right? I tie them together with a virtual network that Andromeda gives you, and I start adding functions to it. And this function is totally going to be different based on what you do with your network. Andromeda gives you this complete open flexibility where you pick and choose what you need. For you, you might just need load balancing. Or you might just say, I don't need load balancing from you. Just forward my packets, and I'll write my own load balancing stack. So what Andromeda would give you is very open set of APIs where you reuse the functions that you want to, or you write your functions as you need, because you will have access to the pipe that carries packet in a complete virtual way, right? The other very important thing about Andromeda is we understand that when you are moving your infrastructure from a physical network stack to a virtual network stack, you'd always be skeptical that maybe my performance would, would go down, right? You should not have to pay performance penalty when you come from physically connected SAN or networking infrastructure and you take this into cloud. This is the real differentiator for Andromeda. The way we built our infrastructure, our, our baseline infrastructure, is for services that are extremely performance hungry. Things like search, things like Gmail, things like map, where you have billions of queries that are running through this network. And you have to be able to respond. You have to go and query your storage. You have to go and query your file system, right? So this underlying stack has been built for performance. What Andromeda does is it, it opens up that performance for anyone. So you should, you should essentially expect close to bare metal performance, if not bare metal performance, on this stack with unlimited scaling, literally, because all of Google's infrastructure is available to you. And you start as small as you want and grow as big as you want as your need comes in, right? So it's really the combination of flexibility, the function, and the Google scale robustness. And I think last but not least, I think this is sort of one of the biggest thing that if you, are, if you own IT in a place, you should worry about is reliability. You don't want your infrastructure to go down. With Andromeda, you're exposing the infrastructure that Google services run on. And you probably have noticed that Google services don't go down. So you are essentially getting this exact same, uh, you know, exact same level of reliability, et cetera, right, with, with, with the stack, and you're getting Google as your you know, network operator effectively right, in, in this. So it's functions, it's features, it's, it's, it's reliability that are all packaged with a simple set of API that you can just program to, and you get your software-defined network without having to build it.
we are we're really offering this as as functions as as part of the API at this point, right? We're not offering them as a service, right? And and this is something that you know as a function you can pick and choose, right? But it's not to say that you cannot write your own DOS service. You can clearly write your own DOS service on on top of this the basic infrastructure that we're providing, right? So at this point we really treat this as infrastructure and and not so much as as a service offering. That's a fantastic question. So, so at Google, um, we are paranoid about scaling because from day one, we always build things assuming that things will be 10x what your design target is. Um, and we have always undershot our scaling requirements, right? So that has been fundamental to how we build network infrastructure, and that has been fundamental to how we built Andromeda from day one. Because what do you always, always assume that somebody can start very small and it can become an extremely popular service um, in no time. It can happen in a month, it can happen in weeks, and we have seen that happening in, in a month, in a week, right? So what Andromeda allows you is the exact same scaling that Google services has demanded out of Google's technical infrastructure, right? And what Andromeda does is it essentially takes that fundamental network system that is software-defined, that allows you to spin up and spin down services on network instances as you need, right? And because it's virtualized, you're actually relying on this massive pool of network that is available to you to expand into. So you don't have to build the physical infrastructure in order to expand into because you are really leveraging all of Google, right? And that is your network platform at the, at the, at the time. Um, so yes, we actually do believe that you know, Andromeda gives you, you know, somewhat of a magical scaling that, you, that, that, that is very hard to achieve in, in, in building network that is not built for that scale to start with. Andromeda is the open networking API for your services if you're running on Google Cloud Platform. Andromeda is a rich set of APIs and functions that are available to you if you choose to run your service on, on, on GCP or Google Cloud Platform. Um, it's the standard networking functions that you need. It's switching, routing, load balancing, filtering, DDoS protection. They're all available to you as open documented API that you may choose to use as you need. You don't have to use all of them. You can build your cloud network infrastructure based on the functions that you need. They're also very flexible. So you can build your own functions either on top of them, or if you, ch if you so choose that you, know, you may need a DDoS function that is not exactly what Andromeda offers, you will have rich API where you can build your DDoS function on top. And you get all of that essentially for free if you choose to run your service on Google Cloud Platform. So it is open to you. <laughs>